well, let's just kick it off in terms of uh, what kind of uh, inflows are you perhaps uh, seeing in, in terms of foreign direct investments into Zambia right now? Well, I think the biggest area of foreign direct investment coming into Zambia is in the mining sector. Uh, Zambia is a very uh, competitive source for mining uh, resources, and that's basically copper. But we are seeing that manganese is an area that is of big interest in Zambia. And uh, in the northwestern province and up in the Luapula province, we're seeing a lot more mining activity coming in. And that exactly. is really where the foreign direct investment is coming, coming through. through. When you look at the foreign direct investment, you'd look at greenfields, mergers and acquisitions, and uh, public-private uh, partnerships. What are some of the challenge, key challenges is the Zambian economy facing in terms of uh, public-private uh, partnerships uh, with recent uh, developments uh, by the government? Well, in, well Zambia, in Zambia, we've had some challenges in public-private uh, partnerships. Um, mainly, it was to do with concessions that were not considered very carefully. We had uh, concessions given to a private investor in the railway network, mm -hmm. and uh, there was no demand for the concessionaire to recapitalize the network. So the network actually has been deteriorating over the last 10 years. And this forced government to go back and re-nationalize that particular network because in the interests of the nation, we need to build a railway network and not see it actually go to grass. But uh, we've seen uh, challenges again in public-private partnerships in the area of uh, border management control mm -hmm. where some of the investors that have come in have not been transparent. There's been challenges of accountability and uh, government began to realize that maybe this is something that wasn't such a good idea and go back into taking over those operations. Indeed, that's somewhat hindering uh, regional trade. And when you look at a uh, regional trade, uh, we've got uh, the, the forex uh, regime, a change uh, there from uh, dollarization back to uh, the, the quarter. What kind of impact uh, do you see this, uh, for, this forex uh, regime uh, change having in terms of uh, regional trade? Yes, I think um, we, we have a challenge in Zambia. We have nine direct neighbors, that includes Burundi, across Lake Tanganyika. And at border crossing areas, you will not find too many bureau de changes or banks. And as a result, uh, you find that the trade across the border is in the currency of either Zambia or the neighbor across the border. And so, the rules and regulations we have around ensuring that all trade in Zambia is done in Zambian kwacha uh, really can't really happen when it comes to the borderline areas purely because of the lack of facilities. So I think that it's something that we would like to see Zambia running on a Zambian kwacha based economy, but the reality is with so many neighbors, we have to recognize that we have to trade in currencies of our neighbors as well.